Imran Khan was in the capital today promoting a denim brand and I must warn you guys, the actor got a little carried away and showed his backside on camera. Of course, with denims on. Good looks and charisma are certainly in his genes, so meet the denim debonair Imran Khan. Now Imran, let me begin by asking you the best part of wearing jeans. Honestly, I live in jeans. I, uh, I don't own any pants that are not jeans. I think I own two pairs of shorts and otherwise just things to sleep in. But yeah, for me, jeans are like a uniform. What are your kind of perfect, your kind of jeans? See, I believe that the whole point of jeans is that you shouldn't try too hard. They should be uh, good looking jeans with a good fit, good style and all that. But it should never look like you're trying. It's meant to just be cool. The most wackiest stuff that you've ever tried with your jeans? When I was around 18, 19, I had a pair of jeans that from the knee down to the ankle was slit and then joined together with safety pins. Uh, I still put like, you know, patches on them. Like if a pair of jeans gets a hole in it, I'll put a patch of a different fabric underneath so you get a little color on, or something. See, I do all kinds of stuff. Okay, the kind of jeans, the kind of the pop, uh, you know, the kind of fit that you'd not be seen dead in. You'll never ever, ever try that. Uh, you know those extra skinny jeans, the kind that look like, uh, like, like they're made from Lycra? <laughs> Those I can't wear. I mean, there, there's some things that should be left to the imagination. I'll give you certain terms, the jeans terms, the trendy terms. You tell me what comes or who comes to your mind if I say something like that. Low-rise jeans. Low-rise jeans, me. I wear my jeans low. Skinny jeans. Skinny jeans. No guy. I, I think <laughs> it's, it's okay for women, but guys should not wear them. Please. Skinny please. jeans and uh, rock t-shirt. Bon Jovi. And baggy jeans. Hip-hop. Again, uh, ninth standard. <laughs> I, okay, I'll... I've got to be honest, in the 9th standard, I used to wear the really baggy jeans, the kind that were falling down, hanging off the ass, all those jeans. But Bubble butt. Bubble butt? Yeah. Achha? I think I'm alright, man. I'm not bad. Okay. Yeah. You can turn around and see that. <laughs> Just gonna remove that wallet. Yeah, there we go. That's not bad, huh? Yeah. The promos of Delhi Belly were out. Your entirely different look with a black eye and you playing this underbelly of Delhi and you play, playing like that kind of a guy. The kind of reviews that you've got after the promo. Uh, quite surprising. The, the reviews have been very strong considering that it's just one day since the trailer came out. Uh, the song has caught on very well. I think people have liked the song a lot. And I think all this time people are not sure what to expect from Delhi Belly. They, had, they really had no idea what it was. So now suddenly it's laid out. And for the most part, I think everyone is really liking it. There have been some quarters where people are uh, responding to the song and saying, I think uh, they, they, they hear some, something dirty in the song, they feel that it's obscene and I, that doesn't really make sense to me. The song is called Bhag DK Bose. The fact that you guys have been responsible enough, you, go, you are the guys who have been asking for a day certificate, you've got that. We, we always knew that. Uh, when we were making the film, this is one thing that uh, Amir as a producer and as an actor and that I also as an actor have always been very, very particular about. You have to be honest to the film you're making. If you're making a film and you intend it to be a family film, then you keep it clean. You do not put double meaning jokes in it, you know, any any uh, suggestive jokes, you don't do anything like that. But if you're making an adult film, then you be true to that and you make an honest to God adult film, which is what we did with Delhi Belly.